Hi everyone, this is the fifth video of the series How to Get Started with DV. So um, in this video, we'll be talking about the contact page, how we put it together, and also how we use things like parallax and also how to add video backgrounds to your page. Now, after this series, it doesn't mean that's the end of it. Uh, what, I'll be, uh, what I will be doing is in the future videos, I will be creating layouts. We'll be talking about web design, design trends, and all that good stuff. So make sure you go to webdesignformula.com and subscribe so you are uh, updated every now and again on what is going on. Okay. And also, if you enjoy using Divi and you think Divi is the right theme for you, which I think it will be, um, please do buy uh, the theme using my affiliate link because this definitely helps me create these videos and host them. Okay, so with that out of the way, let me show you how to create the contact page and also how to add the parallax and also the video backgrounds to your pages. So here we need to add some rows. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and we're going to go for the two thirds and one thirds, one third. Okay, so here, instead of adding text as we were doing before, we can add a form. And you can see we have a lot of options to use here. Um, so I'm going to select contact form and straight away you can see it's added on there. And here are the settings that you can add. You can add your email, the title of the form. In fact, I can just put um, contact us like that. You can also add um, a URL, but that's for the advanced section. So we can leave that as it is. So our form is, um, is set. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And then here, this is where we need to add the address. So I'm just going to add a new module and, and this one's going to be text. So I'm just going to add my text onto this area here. So straight away, you can see our tax text is now added. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then finally, we can uh, make this page look much better by adding a form. Um, sorry, by adding a map. So I'm just going to add a new section. And this is going to be a regular section one row. And uh, I'm going to select um, image. Okay, so image URL, I'm going to click on upload. I've already got this in my media library. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then click upload image. So you can see our map is there. There's also another option where you can use the, um, the Google map API, where it shows the, uh, the actual location of your map. But uh, for the sake of this uh, course, we're not gonna go and do that. We might do this in the future in our advanced courses. Okay, so I'm happy with that um, animation. I don't need any, any animation on this. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I need to make this background section. So I'm going to go ahead and add black so the map stands out. So I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to go ahead and save that whole page. So this is how you create a contact page quickly in a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add a video background here just to make the page look a bit more exciting. So I'm going to go to the section settings here and then I'm going to scroll down here until I get the background video MP4. Click upload. Now I've already uploaded this to my media library. So in your case, you'll need to go to upload files, locate your video and then upload it to the media library. So I've got it here already. As I mentioned, I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on upload video. So you can see it's starting to play already. And, um, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, here's the cool thing. We can see here, um, we don't see most of the video, so you can always come here and then add some padding to it, but just by dragging like that. And this is the power of, the, um, of our visual editor because you can see what you're designing as you're designing it. So I think that's, that looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. So go ahead and save. That's how easy it is to get a video playing in the background of your website. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit the Visual Builder. So I need to do a few more adjustments here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and enable the Visual Builder. We can also add a call to action button. So let me just do that quickly. So I'm gonna click on add a new row, single row, 
and uh, I'm gonna add a button a button text could be anything you can call it a uh, subscribe or whatever it is a button URL you can add your URL there alignment center text color dark let's make it light and then I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes so that's how quickly you can add a button onto your website so as you can see this page is looking pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead and um, save this page cool so next we're gonna to go to the about us page now here again you can see uh, this header area here is uh, very plain so what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna add a background image so I'm gonna go ahead and enable the visual builder I'm gonna go into the section settings so instead of selecting background color we're gonna add a background image so I'm gonna click on upload now I have this image loaded already so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that upload image and you can see straight away we have our image so I'm gonna go ahead and commit to that and then here we need to make sure that this text is easy to read by changing it from dark to light so I'm gonna go into the module settings and then I'm gonna change the text color from dark to light and just like that we can see here it's easy to read so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and then we're gonna add some padding okay so that looks really cool what I'm gonna do here is to make this parallax so we can see here we've got use parallax normally it's set to no but we're gonna set it to yes so as you scroll you have that parallax effect so I'm gonna go ahead and save this scroll all the way down and then save the actual page okay so I'm gonna exit, exit the visual builder and then we're gonna test and see if this parallax is working and you can see that it's working pretty cool so there you have it this is how you create a contact page and also how to add parallax and video backgrounds to your sections in the upcoming videos i'll be sharing with you tips techniques and all the industry news to do with web design so be sure to go to webdesignformula.com and sign up for the newsletter that way you are updated on what's happening with upcoming videos and also sometimes I do occasionally send out tips and techniques via email so it is a good idea to register and also if you'd like to buy this theme please do use my affiliate link and before you go please do give um, a uh, rating on um, iTunes this also helps the channel thank you very much for, for watching look forward to more videos coming up soon until next time thanks for watching and see you soon